This animation illustrates this idea. Notice that there are many different size, shapes, and colors of figures. It could be that a certain size figure, for example, may have different opinions about an issue than other size figures. For example, perhaps smaller figures prefer a certain type of food, while larger figures prefer a different type of food. If our sample had all larger figures, our data would be misleading in terms of preference of food. That is, if our sample contained only large figures, and we summarize the preference of food for the figures in our sample, it would not be representative of the preference of food for all figures, as the preferences for smaller figures would not be included. But, if we could include some large figures and some small figures, our summary of preferences should be quite similar to what we would have obtained had we been able to ask all individuals in the population. The idea now is to realize that it is important to get a good mix of cases in the population to be part of the sample. That is, we need some large figures and some small figures, some of each of the different color figures and some of each of the different shapes of figures as different size, shape, and color figures could have different preferences for food, for example, as was discussed earlier.